Happy Sunday, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I am from theboxmen.com, where we have changed the way that you should watch TV. And in this video, we're going to go over something I just thought about. What if I could show you how to jailbreak your favorite Android TV device in 2023? Let's take a look. Hi guys, it's Jeff again. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a wonderful weekend and we're going to get right into the video. If this is your first time on either our YouTube channel, our Rumble channel, or even our Odyssey channel, those links will be in the description of this YouTube video. And we're going to go right into how to jailbreak your Android TV, the TV box in 2023. Now, normally when we say how to jailbreak something, we're normally talking about a fire stick. There are so many videos on YouTube and other platforms on how to do that. But there is a way to crack open an Android device when we say jailbreak. Now jailbreak simply means that when you buy an Amazon a Fire Cube or an Amazon Fire Stick, you get to something called developer options or it gives you the ability to allow third-party applications to run on their Android device. Now, everyone knows or should know that Amazon Fire Sticks are probably the number one selling Android TV device for streaming third-party applications, uh, internet protocol television, so on and so forth. But the Android TV boxes also has a place for developer options. And right now on this brand new, my air 3 tv box uh, that we feature and we've been featuring for the last month it's really starting to take off and i'll put a video at the end you need to take a look at this box it's actually a one and done like a super stream or something like that where you pay once and you don't have to pay ever again for your entertainment anyway you can find developer options just about on any android device you'll just have to unlock it like a fire stick now on this device, it's already unlocked, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the steps to unlock it and also some of the things that I've unlocked that increases the speed on this box. So what I want to do is I want to go at the top here. I want to go over to the right and I'm going to highlight the settings wheel right here. I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to go down to device preferences. I'm going to press OK and then I'm going to go to about. If this is your first time doing it. The next thing you want to do is you want to go down to build. You'll begin to press this like it says I'm already a developer maybe eight times. I'm already a developer. Once you are a developer, you can hit the back button on your remote and then go down here. It should show developer options. Highlight that. Press OK. At the very uh, this is probably the how this is the place where you do a couple of things to speed up your device. Uh, maybe you want to do some USB debugging and I will explain the things that we have done and it really, really helps out a lot. All right. So the first thing you want to do here, based on what you have, is I turn the picture color mode and I use sRGB. The reason I do this, this is mainly for monitors where it, it, it encapsulates the picture quality to 100%. It brings the colors in a very dynamic way and I've tested it on this box and it works very well. It will work very well on many of the devices like an Android device. You can test and see if it'll work for you as well. You can turn on that if it's available. The next thing you want to turn on or toggle on is USB debugging. Debug mode is when a USB is connected. In other words, if I'm going to um, allow USB debugging. That means when I use a thumb drive, maybe I want to take something from the box to the computer. I want to make sure that my computer, even if it's a device, even something, a file, I want to make sure that my computer recognizes it. So turning on USB debugging, especially if I'm able to connect on some devices, a, a, hard, um, a hard drive, or you can connect it right to the hard drive on your computer. 
uh, and it really makes things a lot easier if you're going to be transferring files. So I would definitely turn that on. The next thing I want to do is I want to go down here and then we want to ver this is your, a good one. Verify apps over USB. Check apps installed via ADB, ADB, ADT for harmful behavior. This is a great thing. So if you're doing, if you're a streamer that does side loading or whatever it might be, this is a good one to have on because that way it'll check for any harmful things you might be able to, uh, you don't even know you're putting into your device. So let me keep on going down. This is one that I always leave on. I always keep the mobile data active, even when Wi-Fi is active for fast network switching. If you're able to turn on this, mobile data always active, I would definitely turn on that as well. Especially the majority of my customers and maybe the majority of consumers, most of us go Wi-Fi. So we're always going wireless instead of a direct connect like an ethernet. So we wanna make sure we do that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep going down. We want to get to where it says window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. These three you want to change. It's usually at 1.5. I put it at 0.5 right here. What this does, it changes the windows from, um, from window to window a lot quicker. So when you're going to different windows, different tabs, it speeds up the transition, the animation, and all of that. So I change this to 0.5, you can click it there. I change this one to 0.5 from 1.5, you could put it there. And then I change the animator duration scale from 1.5 to 0.5x. So those are the three that I would definitely do. As I continue down, we're almost done here. There's, I think there's one more that I want to uh, show you. Uh, at least it works for me. So this one here, force allow apps on external. It makes any app eligible to be written to an external storage regardless of manifest value. So if I'm gonna force any apps, if I want the apps, on, I don't want it to go onto my media storage on my device, I can put it on an external storage. Like sometimes I have different things on my external storage where I wanna help a customer. This is a good, or I want to uh, be on one of my um, terabyte drives where I want to just go back and forth from the external storage over to the box storage, but I want to force allow the apps on the external storage to be written. I want it to be written over to the external storage. That way I don't use up the storage on my device. Now this is on a case by case basis, but if you're like me or maybe you're a little bit more advanced in some of the streaming things you do this is a great way to do that and this is how i have jailbroken my device by using the developer options on your media device that concludes this sunday night's video as my new england patriots are getting spanked right now by the miami dolphins and i'm hanging my head a little low because obviously in the second week of the NFL, we are absolutely in a rebuild. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the video by offering you guys to take a look at the end of the video at a link in the description that will preview this great box called My Air 3 TV. This is a My Air 3 TV box. It is a one and done box that China has made and asked us to not only review, but we started to resell these to our, our, our customers, and it is a fabulous box. To find out some of the benefits of this device, I would go ahead and click the link in the description of the video. Go to the next pages, and you'll see an, a complete breakdown of this great box. Imagine having over five years of unlimited live TV, unlimited like sports, um, and stuff like that, 60 months for just $236.25 one time. This box comes completely set up from a manufacturer overseas. We don't do anything. We don't have, we don't host, we don't do anything, but it's completely legal to use. And you can find out more information by clicking the link and we give a 30 day money back guarantee. This box is fabulous. And I'm gonna do a review here very soon. And uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna close out the video by thanking everyone for tuning in. Have a great Sunday and check out the link below.